are back with another video for you guys to see and we thought we would share with you again our Lily's Kitchen order that we got this month. This order is a little bit different to last month's order. We never ordered our 7kg bag of food. Instead, we used that money to buy different things from Lily's Kitchen. To show you guys what kind of products they have and how good they really are. I was going to split this video into two. But I decided to do it all as one because we do have our normal food order and we do have our Christmas order for the Christmas products that Lily's Kitchen have on their website. So I think first of all I will go through the Lily's Kitchen Christmas order and show you what it is that they have on their website this month. Okay, so this is the advent calendar for dogs and this came in about 9.99 and basically it's got the 24 windows. This is a picture. Last year it was the green, I think it was a kind of green advent calendar, I can't quite remember. Um, but on the back it tells you a little bit about um, the treats that are inside. So it's just really the rise and shines the um, training cheese and apple treats and the bedtime biscuits. Now the bedtime biscuits my two tend to struggle chewing but we will find out how many are actually in here and I'm pretty sure the dogs will manage. So that is the advent calendar and again it's vet approved, made in Great Britain, ethical awards, certified, all that kind of stuff so it is really really good. So that is our first um, Christmas. That is our first Christmas item. The next item we have in our box is the Lily's Kitchen Proper Food for Dogs Three Bird Festive Feast with all the trimmings. And this is going to be the dog's Christmas dinner. I know that sounds really silly but the dogs get wet meat anyway and dry food so instead of just adding their organic chicken and beef wet meat into their meal they will be getting the three birds feast into their meal and they will be getting a wee bit more than normal because it is a bigger tin. But the good thing about this tin is that it has turkey parsnips and carrots in it so it's got all the vegetables and it is 60% freshly prepared turkey, goose, duck, parsnips, organic carrots, cranberries, Swiss chard, organic apples, vitamins and minerals and seaweed and then it's got like a list of the herbs that's in it. It's lilies, paw of approval and it is really really good. Um, I like the design that they have for Christmas this year. It's the, it's the same products as last year but just different designs. So this is it here and that came in at about £2 something. I'm really sorry I don't remember the exact amount. I don't have my receipt here but I'll leave the links down below to the Lily's Kitchen website and you guys can go and check out if you are interested. So that is their Christmas dinner. The last Christmas item we got in our box this year is their fabulous festive biscuit with turkey and cranberry thyme and cinnamon treats. And I have to say I do like the container this year. Again, it's the same treat as last year but it is a different design. So this is a design here, it comes in this cardboard tube with a metal lid and it's basically a letter box with the pets posting their letter to Santa and I absolutely love it. So this has prepared turkey, oat flour, cranberry, sunflower oil, thyme, flaxseed, cinnamon and natural yeast and the dogs know I have something good for them. Now I ordered a few of these so this one I am going to open and let the dogs have a taste and see what they think of it. So this tin will be for just now if I can get it open. This is what the biscuits look like so that is what you get in the tin and they are like little love hearts and it's just really really nice. Are you going to have one? Okay. Mmm. There you go. There you go. And they don't sound as if they're too hard of a treat. Some of Lily's kitchen treats are actually really, really hard. 
But um, these ones are actually not too bad. I have another one. Good girls. Oh, they love these. Maybe Santa will bring more for Christmas. Okay, was that tasty? That was Pixie and Roxy approved. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Show you some of my babies. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the next thing we got in our order, instead of buying the seven kilogram bag of food, we decided because we had some left over to last us kind of halfway through the month, we decided to buy two small one kilogram bags of the organic, the chicken vegetable bake and it's the organic one. So we have two bags of these. These were 8 99 each. Quite expensive, but it does my dogs the world of good. Okay, and as always, we always get like a free a free bag of um, put bags. So these are our waste bags for this month, and we get twenty five bags in one pack. And I quite like them because they've got wee handles on them, so they're quite easy to tie. Okay, now the next thing we got was our wet trays of dog meat. Now we always get twenty two trays of meat. And last month I went for all beef. This month I've changed the flavour. Well, they're still having beef, but I've decided to add the chicken back into it. The chicken we thought Roxy didn't really agree with, um, but we found out that it wasn't really the chicken. So we decided to go back to the organic chicken. So we got, oh, that one's a bit bashed, my goodness. So we got 11 trays of the organic chicken and we also got 11 trays We also got 11 trays of the organic beef. Now they've had this all of last month so we're going to switch it up and give them some of the chicken. Just kind of one day beef, one day chicken and mix it up a wee bit so they'll be a wee bit more excited about their meals. They do still enjoy their meals, they do eat their meals but it's just a wee bit of a different taste for them. I mean at the end of the day how much would we like to eat chicken or beef the same flavour for the rest of our lives? It must be boring. But anyway, so we've got chicken and we've got beef for this month. Okay, now there's only three items left in the box. Now, I did get another tray of wet meat. Now, the original Lily's Kitchen tray of the lamb hot pot went through Pixie a long time ago and we've never used the tray since. Now, <laughs> Jamie seems to think that chicken and beef, the same flavour, they're going to get bored, but I don't think they are if we rotate it. But he did say, do they not do any other flavours? And I had a wee look and they actually do do an or oh, they do do? They actually do do a organic lamb tray. So we decided to get one tray of the organic lamb. I wasn't go going to go ahead and get 11 trays of the organic lamb, just in case it disagreed with Pixie. And this is the tray here. Now, I waited to use this until I was off on holiday because at least I would be here to help clear up the mess and look after her if she did become unwell. I'm hoping that she is going to be able to have this and if she is, then good. It's another flavour that she can have. The lamb hot pot is different to this, that is, it, although it's still lamb, it's not got the same products in this. This is the organic one and it's also got in beef and chicken in it. It's got organic vegetables, carrots and peas, spelt, alfalfa, cleavers, kale, spirulina, all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping that this agrees with them anyway. So that's just a wee kind of trial. So we will try that. Yes. And Roxy's sitting staring at me with, can I have another biscuit? No, you can't because you're going to get your dinner soon. Yes. Going to get your dinner soon. Uh -huh. 
Okay, we also got a packet of the Lily's Kitchen Wake Up With Rise and Shine with Beef Liver and Fresh Carrots and Botanical Herbs. Now, we have had these before. I'm wanting to try and give them more Lily's Kitchen treats than any other treats, although we get subscription boxes in every month. That's a kind of one-off, but I am trying to stick to Lily's Kitchen only and Billy and Margot because they are really, really good. I would probably say they are um, the second to base to Lily's Kitchen treats anyway. Look at this. No, because you're going to get your dinner and you know that. Mm-hmm. So this is the biscuits here. They are like flower shapes. And this is the box here. It's a nice colourful box, nice pink. Oh, they're a bit tight to put back in. So all the ingredients in here are organic, which is good. We like organic. Okay, the last thing we have in our box is this book. And this is the Dinner for Dogs. And it basically is a home cooking for happy, healthy dogs. Now, we're not really going to go home cooked meals for the dogs, although it would be nice as a treat to try one of their recipes. And it's not all meals, they do treats, they do um, recovery recipes, all that kind of stuff in here. So it's not all for meals. And I do want to try and make the dogs some kind of treat from the Lily's Kitchen recipe book. Not only has it got the recipes in it, it also has information on what is in your dog's diet, what your dog needs for a diet, um, what kind of what is good about their fruit and vegetables, so what it does to the dog, like it helps their immune system, it helps their hips and joints, their heart, all that kind of stuff, which is really, really interesting. And it also tells you what to look out for in dog food and what not to look out for, so what is not really good um, as well. And it tells you all about like the herbs, like Lily's Kitchen has a lot of herbs and stuff in, in their food and it basically this tells you what the herb is good for, for your dog's diet. And I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to go through everything one by one, I'm just going to give it a quick flick through. Um, just, I don't know how much I can show on camera of this book, I don't even know if I can, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to flick through it. So this is the book here and it basically just gives you information about everything and it is really, really useful. A couple of recipes in there as well and recipes for older dogs which is quite good and it also gives you the Lily's Kitchen story. I'll just give you a couple of titles of what kind of recipes are in here. So you get carrot cakes, you've got wholesome hash, you've got comforting chicken stew, salmon bake, quick doggy ice cream which is where we got our recipe from for making them, stew for sad dogs, Treats for a hot day, fruity granola squares, power treats, mini meaty balls, cheese twists, all that kind of stuff. Um, it also has a Halloween hot pot, which is really good, so it's kind of seasonal. Mince pies, a Christmas feast, which I would really like to try. And birthday cake, which I would like to try as well. So there is a lot of recipes in here for your dogs. It even has a breakfast menu which I am actually quite excited to try a few things. And it is good to learn about the ingredients that are contained in your dog's diet so that I can have a better understanding of Lily's Kitchen ingredients and why the food is so good. So I really like this book. This book came in, I think it was about £12. It is expensive, but it is well worth the read and I am actually really excited to sit down and read through the whole of this book. I have had a quick... A quick look, but unfortunately working an 80 hour week it is a bit impossible to read through and really sit down and enjoy the book. So now that I'm off for 12 days I am going to go through and read this book cover from front to back. And I am going to learn all about Lily's Kitchen and the ingredients that are in Pixie and Roxy's food.
So overall, that is our order. So this month's order came to about £85. Now usually we would spend £84, £83, £84, but that would be only for the 7kg bag of dry food and it would be for the 22 trays of wet meat and that's it. So all these extras, all the everything like the Christmas, the treats and the organic lamb and the book and everything, we basically made up to the £50 for the bag of food. In so it is again another expensive order but we get to try out different things from Lily's kitchen because when I buy a 7kg bag, 22 trays of wet meat, it's too much for me to carry on and buy everything else that Lily's kitchen has. My order would be way over £100 and I just think that um, coming up to Christmas that is a bit much for us to spend. Okay guys, so give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave us a comment and as always if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you on the next video. Bye guys!